open a new tab in a browser, and then navigate to portal.office.com. Once the page loads, we'll sign into our Microsoft 365 account. Now, if you don't immediately get this more information required prompt enforced from your IT admin, don't worry, I'll show you how to start the MFA setup process at the end. Once you reach the MFA enrollment page, you'll have two options. The first and recommended option is to use an authenticator app. The second option is to use SMS. If you would like to use SMS, click here to start. I'm going to pull out my phone now and navigate to Microsoft Authenticator. From here, we can add an account by choosing Work or School Account. On my phone, I'm going to select Scan a QR Code. Now I just scan the QR code on my computer screen. After scanning your QR code, you'll notice a new entry added to your home screen in this app. I'm going to click Next on my computer to finish the enrollment process. Then just enter the number on your computer screen into your phone prompt and choose Yes. Once that is approved, I'm going to enter in my cell phone number as a backup method. After clicking Next, I'll receive a six-digit code on my cell phone and then just enter in on my computer. After receiving the code, I enter it on my computer and then click Next. And that's it! We've successfully set up MFA and this screen shows us the summary of what we added. If you didn't receive the More Information Required prompt from earlier, we'll need to navigate to the Security section of our Microsoft 365 Account Settings. The Security Information section in Account Settings is where we could change any MFA info that we've input and select our default sign-in method. If you need to change your default MFA sign-in method, you can click Change located here. Otherwise, if you need to add in a new MFA method, you can navigate to Add Sign-in Method just underneath that.